I visited Los Cabos almost yearly since 2001, and in 20 years I've seen a lot of Cabo. But what I also know about Cabo is there's always something beautiful, tasty, or exciting to surprise you, and I'm always looking to learn something new. As usual, I'm so excited to be back, especially because this time it's with the MP crew. Today we're headed east to Los Barriles to check out Cozy Coffee. Yeah, this is it? This is where it's going yep. to go? Yep. Okay. This is it. This is cozy. Here we are. Because you said also like 2020 was such a crazy year. Yes. I mean, it was obviously super crazy for lots for of everybody. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you decided to open your business. I was having a long distance relationship with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He was living in La Paz. Mm -hmm. He also um, he he was coming here because his mom has a house here. So he's like the local mm -hmm. between us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was living in TJ. COVID was really weird. And he was like, well. So, come back to in South Baja. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we came here and it, this wasn't planned. Like, he's a chef, so we were like cooking for the people in the community. This place used to be a coffee shop before us. Mm -hmm. And the, the guy that used to run the coffee shop, just, I think he went back to the States. Okay. And the place was empty and the locals approach is like okay we want to keep on having coffee so you take on the place so you've been working in coffee for a long time yeah i've been working in coffee for 11 years wow okay that's super cool so then yeah. when you were like oh now i'm going to open this coffee shop you knew exactly where to get the yes wow okay yeah great. this is a coffee farm that i used to work before mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. so yeah i know the people i know where to get the stuff yeah wow well um Thanks for having us here to try your amazing coffee. I'm just gonna keep drinking this. This, this one I'm obsessed with, the Chemex Bouquet. Thank you. That's amazing. Yeah, so that's why it's a bee. Did you oh, because of the like the flowers and the pollen? Uh, no, it, it, it has like two... Oh, because of the sting because you're a tattoo artist? No, no, no. no. It Sorry. has like two, two, two parts of the story. Okay. So when I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, but I get really, really bad car sick, so I just drop that drink. Um, but I remember a story that I read like in those science magazines for kids about uh, a story in NASA of a posture of a bumblebee that says that physics and aerodynamics, they cannot fly, but they do. I mean, 20 years later, we actually know why they can fly, but back, back then it was like a mystery. Uh, so they fly, but they, they shouldn't, but they do, because the bumblebee doesn't know that he can fly. So I was like, oh, that was like in my mind. And then uh, I got my first bee tattoo uh, two years ago because it was when uh, bees turned out to be the, the, um, the most important being in the planet. And I was like, wow, how something so tiny can be so important? And then I, said, I associated that with coffee. Like, coffee has such a big impact like, in the society, like in everywhere, and also in some people's lives, like mine, that we actually dedicate our lives to coffee. It's our job, it's our profession. It's how something like so tiny can be so important. So 
now I have that like relation like a coffee bean is like a like a bean. So that's why it's a bean. I love that. It's amazing. And so and then um, you're also like obviously an artist, so you uh, this like, is relatively new. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a surgery in my wrist mm -hmm. like four years ago, mm -hmm. and it went bad. I couldn't even move it. Right. So I had therapy, like just physical therapy. Yeah, yeah. it was a physical therapy, like just starting to do just doodles, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, I'm going to go further, and I, I want you to, to draw. And um, it turns out I'm a little good. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay, I like this. And then I was so into it. I'm so into tattoos. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. And yeah, I practiced mostly myself. And my boyfriend. Wow. But, yeah. Wow, that is like really cool. You're honestly super fun to meet you. I feel yeah. like what a cool place that you've created. And I wanted to to express all that here in this place because I've been I own like two coffee shops before this one, one in Monterrey and one in La Paz. Mm -hmm. But like the second one didn't express any of me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go fully myself. It's going to be pink, it's going to be cute, it's going to be me. So I made all the art, the murals. Uh, yeah, I made it. You made everything. This yeah. is like your, if yeah, if you were a coffee shop, yeah. this is it. Yeah, I it's love going that. to be cozy. And, and also the name. It's cozy. cozy. It's yeah. cozy coffee. You're cozy. Yeah. It's cozy. I think you like totally achieved it. It's amazing. We said goodbye to cozy. And of course, she sent us home with a selection of her favorite beans from her 2021 varieties. We're happily caffeinated and taking a quick look at the beach before getting back on the dusty trail. I'm sure there are more adventures right around the corner, and I can't wait. It's cowboy time.